call it time. You were around people having a conversation in a language you don't know. The today reconnecting their people, me, who to connect place because I hearing how to speak despite years therapy because catch one said can you begin to fill in the blank that the first rate you because you can't figure out what that is about let's fill in the blank the thing today is we connecting However, there are people like me who struggle to connect in the first place. That's because I was born hearing things. I grew up learning how to speak and lip read, despite years of speech therapy. I missed a lot because, on average, lip readers only catch one third of what's said. Guess what? The missing word version shows more than one third of the words. Imagine every conversation, every single day is like this. My friend Thomas Logan moved to Japan, and he's learning Japanese. One day, he sent me an image of people talking while one feels invisible. The caption says, when my friend starts talking Japanese. I tweaked it and removed one word and sent it back. Now it says, when my friend starts talking. It's okay to laugh. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Back to my one third comment. This doesn't mean I only catch one third out of every conversation. I may understand some people most of the time, others half the time, and for those who tend to mumble, talk fast, or have a heavy accent, I may barely understand them. This is painful because I want to know what people say. Let's jump back to 2020 when the entire world changed. Companies scramble to switch to remote working. I've been a remote worker since 2005. Nothing changed for me yet. <coughs> At this point, most video platforms did not have captions. As the world started relying heavily on video calls, it caused people to be locked out of conversation for me it was yet another communication tool that made me feel left out. But I was used to it. 
A few months after the world shut down, a few major video platforms added an automatic caption. That's when everything changed. Caption video called and that filled in so many blanks. Suddenly, I could join video conversation and feel included. Also, I no longer had to search the room to find who was speaking. <laughs> That's because in person meetings are like an exhausting tennis match. <laughs> the automatic captions are not perfect. But it's progress because I feel more connected, more informed, more confident, more valued. Now I prefer caption video calls over in person meetings. My youngest finished his last year of high school on the second floor of our home slash office slash school building. He walked past my office every day and see I was on captioned video calls. Last year, he went off to university. One day, I got the most amazing text message from him. He asked if I would like to get on a captioned video call. That would have never happened without the crisis. It normalized captioned video calls for him. By the way, don't tell him I have the screenshot of him on a caption video call. <laughs> of course, no one wanted the pandemic to happen. However, history has shown that events like this can lead to changes for the better. In my case, it prepared my career as an advocate for people with disabilities and accessibility. It gave me a new way to communicate and to socialize. What would you do if you meet someone who is deaf or can't understand you? Let's start by making a habit to communicate at least two different ways. Always have a second way ready to go. It's so simple. Come on, y'all, wave hello. Come on, please wave hello. Now say howdy. howdy. Louder for me. Howdy. Look at that. Y'all are communicating two ways, visually and audibly. And if you don't have a paper or a pen in handy, you most likely always have one of the best communication tools with you. Come on, everyone, take out your cell phone, but don't check your messages now. <laughs> Look at that. You all have a third way to communicate besides talking and gesturing. You can use voice to text or type on your phone to communicate. And if someone doesn't speak your language, open up a translator on your phone. Problem solved. So start with a wave and a howdy and have your other communication tool ready to help you connect with someone who may feel Invisible. Now I'm waving goodbye and signing thank you all.